Hey guys, Aaron Camp here, director at Small Voice Films, and today I've got another fix for a little quirk that Adobe Premiere has put into their latest 2022 version of the software. Now, for those of you working with Sony footage, you may have come across this. It's basically making your Sony S-Log footage look like complete rubbish. So let's take a look here. So what I've got here is I've got a project set up with a few different uh, cameras that I often will shoot with. So we've got a Canon C100, EOS R, some drone footage, and some Sony footage. Now, if I create a sequence from the Sony footage, now let's say, um, so this is a shot here that I've got of this house. Now that's how the footage was shot, looks fine. If I create a new sequence from that clip the footage is going to come in here and it's going to look perfectly fine okay let me just delete that sequence there so I've got that set up here with the Sony sequence if I pull the Sony footage down into there footage looks totally fine how it was shot no problem now the issue is I often shoot with multiple cameras and I set my sequences how I want them as the finished product. So here I have my master sequence that I've already set up with my settings. So now if I pull in my, let's say this shot from the EOS R, looks great. Got drone footage here. Looks fine. Now what happens when I pull in the Sony footage? What is that? It looks like rubbish. All the highlights are blown out, the colors are weird. Uh, this was shot in S-Log, and yet it looks like complete rubbish. Where have all, where's all the detail gone? Why, why does it look like there's been some kind of weird LUT applied to the footage. Now, let's just have that shot there so you can see the difference. So that's in my master sequence. I haven't done anything to the footage whatsoever. That's what it should look like. A lot flatter, the colors are better, highlights are still there. This one, just complete, complete rubbish. Now obviously, you can fix this by conforming your whole sequence to match the Sony footage, you know, do that new sequence from clip from a, the Sony footage and then pull the other footage in. So if we've got the Sony sequence here, you can see that if I pull in the drone footage, it still looks fine. EOS footage, it still looks fine. So if we set the entire sequence based on the Sony footage, then everything's gonna be fine. So that's one option for you. But if you have your sequence that, these are the output settings that you want, you've based your sequence on that, and you're ending up with this Sony footage looking like complete rubbish, what you're gonna need to do is go into your project here, select all of your Sony clips, right click on that, modify, interpret footage, come down the bottom to where it's got color management listed here. Put on color space override, select to Rec 709. All of a sudden, your footage is back to normal. Okay, so you can see that's what it looked like. I'll redo the effect there. Once we do that, Rec 709 correct, it comes back to how the footage was shot. So, one more time. That's how the Sony footage was looking. That's how it should look, okay? So once again, you select all in your bin here, select all your Sony footage, right click, go into modify, interpret footage, down the bottom, color management, you want color space override, Rec 709, all your footage is back to normal. I have no idea what Adobe's done to make your footage look like this, but there's the fix for you guys. Hope that helps.